Now you see the river. Minor portal vein radicals are prominent on the yeah, yeah. These are black, uh, white star-like areas are the portal vein radicals and they will appear to you as uh, stars in the sky because of the, these are all prominent minor portal vein radicals which you normally do not see and you saw, you will always see this in cases of diffuse, decreased parenchyma and ecogenicity in which the uh, ecogenicity of the liver has gone down diffusely and you can see the raised periportal echoes. In this case, and uh, moreover, salia is terrible. Lamba salia is saropo. Like saropo. Now see the gallbladder and uh, you will note that uh, the gallbladder is surrounded by a uh, small amount of fluid. This is the fluid in transfer section. This is the critical angle. But around the side. Well, there is no periodic plan adenopathy scene, no fluid scene in the plural space, whereas on the left side even you will not see any, uh, there is the impression of that as if the kidney, uh, sorry the spleen is alive but not, the spleen is normal in the male man. Here what we see is that the kidney is the main organ of pathology, main organ involved for the uh, all the problems that this uh, 50 years old male is suffering from. In a way that uh, if the if you see that this is the longitudinal section of the left kidney, kidney measures 10.2 centimeters in length, and the most important diameter 5.2 centimeter is a large in anterior posterior diameter. It should not exceed uh, five centimeters. Moreover, this is the upper port. See the degree of uh, dilation of the pyramid. The pyramid is significantly prominent. The central sinus echocomplex is muffled. Uh, the parenchymal echogenicity is diffused, erased, and uh, the corticomedullary differentiation because this is the cortex, this area, and this is the medulla. Combining both together will give us the parent kind of thickness. So the parent cortex uh, thickness is fine, the okay with the normal, the, the medullary uh, medulla are slightly prominent and the parenchymal thickness is also uh, within normal. Slightly uh, more than normal is because of uh, loss of uh, central sinus echocomplex in this particular case. See that the, uh, the pyramids are prominent in all regions. This is the mid region, anterior mid region. This is the lower pole. Yeah, here again you see the uh, and uh, the proximal ureter is not dilated though. No reason to believe the, uh, that the, there is obstructive uropathy, no obstructive uropathy. Well, this is uh, the proximal ureter, this one. This is the this is the transfer section. The hyalur region is okay. The patent vessels, normal caliber. And uh, the transfer section also you will see that the pyramids are significantly prominent. These are the pyramids. So this is a, a 
finding, which if you see, is very much consistent with acute pyelonephritis. And the uh, same was the case as the patient's urine. Findings were that he was he's having hematuria. Uh, in the sense that there is uh, pus in the 20 to 30 per, uh, pus cells per high power field. There is proteinuria in this patient, and uh, there are RBCs also seen per high power field, 10 to 12 RBCs. Protein is 3 plus. Now, this is the pyramid, and this uh, small, tiny uh, structure that you are seeing, ecogenic uh, structure, is the, cord, is the arcuate vessel. Uh, it is seen anterior to the pyramid. So this is the case of the right, uh, sorry, left kidney. There is no ascites seen in the dependent region and same is the finding, same are the finding in the right kidney. You can see over here, this one. Same finding. This is the upper pole. And here comes the lower pole. You see all the same findings. Prominence of the uh, renal pyramids, muffling of the central sinus echo complex, diffuse raised certain time hypogenicity in uh, transfer section. You will see this. Again, same findings that we saw in the left uh, kidney. So this is a case of acute myelonephritis. The proximal ureter is now dilated. The higher region is fine. You can see the prominence. Now if we compare the cortico medullary differentiation as the echogenicity of the liver has gone down, the echogenicity of the kidney will appear to you more echogenic compared to that of the, that of the liver because uh, the echogenicity of the liver has gone down because of the infective process and this is the kidney spelling time. You can see the raised periportal echoes. You can see the prominence of the vessels. And uh, the walls of the bread appear thick because of diffuse decreased pentamal echogenicity itself. By itself, the whole battery is normal. Now this is the wall uh, that is appearing thick. In it. There is no intensive uh, pathology relating to the gall, uh, gallbladder. This is the urinary uh, bladder in transfer section. This is the urinary bladder in longitudinal section. You can see the prostatic urethra as well in this view. This is the prostate. There is no fluid seen in the dependent region peritoneal cavity. So this is a case of acute pyelonephritis. Thank you very much.